There's the new two post telecom rack. It's only partially assembled. I still got uh, two cross members and a ladder rack to go across it. Reason they're not there is I am waiting for bolts from the person that I purchased it from. He's supposed to have couriered them to me already, and they haven't arrived. But I've temporarily set it up just to get an idea of spacing. And I've put the main patch panel up on the top. I'll eventually move that off to a separate stand rack. And then I'll have the first shelf that'll hold the modems and probably the NAS. And then I've got a keyboard shelf which came with it. Crossbar that's big enough and heavy enough that I'll be able to actually mount a monitor on it. And then lighting effects! Woohoo! And then I've thrown a printer on the next shelf down. I may eventually put a rack mount server there. And they're cantilever shelves. It, it's all Chatsworth product. And then below that, I've got another cantilever shelf on the bottom. That's where the UPSs are going to go. And the guy was nice enough to throw in a networked PDU unit so I can monitor my power usage and control my outlets remotely. Um, I've got a piece of mesh shelf on the back here complete with appropriate documentation. So I've got my warning for anyone that comes in that I have lead acid batteries here. And I've also got my SMC network switch installed. And I've put in a single wire connection that will eventually hook up to the patch panel and this will probably go straight into my switch or my server that I'll have mounted below here rather than running a separate lines up the back mainly because this way it'll be quick and easy to use as a DMARC punch should my server lose connectivity and then I've got another cross brace the idea with the cross braces is that I'll use two of them put a mounting, a visa mounting plate on it, and then mount my monitor on there. I'm probably going to end up having to mount mo the monitor left of the rack, especially if I go something larger than about a 23 inch. It'll be off center, because I have this beautiful cable co for all the cables that I may or may not eventually get. But it was a complete package deal, so all in all, not a bad collection of goodies for a couple hundred bucks and that sort of completes it oh and I've thrown my old Rogers cable box on here below which was a, f a free dumpster find but it wasn't registered so I get to use it and temporarily I've put all my network gear over here not wanting to uh, disrupt live working equipment I really didn't want to shut the NAS down until I had the rack completely set up and configured and hopefully that will be happening on the weekend and then I can put this into a more final configuration so in the meantime it's sitting here just waiting for parts total of six bolts four J hooks and then I'll show you the completed setup rack once I get that done next anyway that's it for tonight have a good night